So something showed up at the door the other day, something we've been waiting for, something you've probably been waiting to learn a little bit about. That's right, it was this guy, the DJI Mavic Air 2. Now we've only had this drone for about a week, but that doesn't mean we haven't flown the heck out of it already. We put this thing through the paces. And I can tell you, this is a pretty darn impressive little drone. It is absolutely more capable than its little brother, the Mavic Mini, and it's on par with its big brother, the Mavic 2 Pro, in a lot of different areas. In fact, it's actually better than the Mavic 2 Pro in a couple of different areas. Now this Mavic Air 2 has the longest flight time and the longest range of any Mavic ever created. It's absolutely a different machine than the original Mavic Air. This is also the very first Mavic that can shoot 4K at 60 frames a second. So let's learn a little bit more about this Mavic Air 2. paper do we need? All right, so we're going to do a very quick unboxing so you can see what you get when you open your Mavic Air 2. All right, so of course there is a Mavic Air in the box. No surprise there, it does have a camera, of course. Uh, there's your remote, uh, looks different than the old ones. That's cool. Uh, you got some manuals, instructions, things should be helpful. Uh, silica packet. Uh, we got some uh, cables for different phones, charging brick, that's gonna be useful. Charging cable. Uh, some extra sticks should you lose them gimbals if you will uh, these are some propellers of course you need those to fly but those on looks good right and there is a battery look at all that good old stuff all right so let's take a closer look at the mavic air 2 and uh just see what we got here let's start with this camera uh this is an impressive camera one over two uh it's sensor we got a 48 megapixel camera its field of view is 84 degrees and f 2.8 uh, look at this gimbal tons of travel that is awesome good look up angle um, definitely made some changes here. Um, look at the back here of this camera too. Notice all those ridges. Um, that's to, for heat dissipation. That's a heat sink. Um, you know, the Mavic 2 uh, was plagued by um, heat problems, and that's why we don't have 4K60 on the Mavic 2, but we do have it on this guy, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, the bottom of the drone, we see some sensors, a couple of cameras, LED, uh, IR, uh, some more cameras in the back and the front uh, here for obstacle avoidance. Uh, good powerful motors, brushless of course, folding props there, the, the swing tip props so you do get the, the low noise, it's definitely not noisy. Just kind of take a look on one side we have USB-C and on this side we got a place for your SD card. Now the remote here is very different than any other Mavic remote. It's bigger and taller for starters. Uh, we have a bigger battery. You can charge your phone in this um, when it's plugged in, which is really cool. And uh, the phone actually goes up top now, right? So it kind of sits up here. I do believe this is actually the antenna right here. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's your that's your antenna as well. Uh, so that's kind of neat. So top mounted phone just kind of rests right in here. Uh, kind of clamps it down. The sticks, the gimbals, are hidden tucked underneath here. The screen mechanism looks a little bit different, but you know, it works just the same. There are less buttons overall, right? Over here we have the switch tripod normal and sport, uh, return to home power, uh, this function button. There are a couple of different functions you can have it. Right now I have it set one press, uh, camera looks straight down, or one press again, it'll look straight, um, straight ahead. You can also have it uh, set to turn on the LED, right? I have that with two button presses there. It also can toggle the map, things like that. This button over here uh, switches from uh, video to picture mode. Uh, up here we have your picture button, and then of course your gimbal controls. 
The cord for your phone uh, rests right here in the top. Uh, I use an iPhone, so I have an iPhone cable in there, but uh, you can, of course, swap it out for whatever it is that you need. USB charging port in the bottom. Good solid grip. You can kind of see how the Mavic Air slots in with the other Mavic drones. It definitely has that boxy shape of the newer Mavics where the old Mavic Air is kind of that sleek design. I actually kind of prefer this, but hey, um, you know what? DJI is going to this iconic, recognizable Mavic look. And you know what? I can't blame them. Um, it definitely slots in size-wise right between these two, the Mini and the two, um, you know, price-wise, performance-wise. It is kind of the middle child, uh, but you know what? It does do some things better than its bigger brother. So, you know, there is that. For the money, this is a really good drone. So in a lot of ways, this Mavic Air 2 was built to slot right in between the Mavic Mini and the Mavic 2 series. It uses the DJI Fly app like the Mavic Mini, so it doesn't have all those settings and things you have to worry about when you're flying the Mavic 2. But you do have a little bit more control over this than you do the Mavic Mini. This camera is fantastic. And like I said before, it shoots 4K at 60 frames a second. That's impressive. There are a lot of other ways to use a camera other than just 4K. I personally don't like to shoot in 4K because of the file size. So you can of course shoot in 1080 and in 1080 you have up to 240 frames a second. So if you want to do some super slow-mo, that's another way to do it. It also is capable of HDR video, photos, and panoramas. Again, this is the first Mavic that can do all three of those in HDR. If you don't know what HDR is, it's basically a way of combining photos at different exposures to get a really crisp and clean image. I really liked flying this. Uh, it didn't feel like I was flying a smaller drone. It really felt uh, as capable and as maneuverable as the original Mavic 2. Now, it does have some really awesome features, focus track, active track, a pass 3.0. What am I talking about? Well, basically there are a bunch of automated flight modes. So if you want to track a subject and have it follow them or do a drony or do a rocket where it goes straight up, um, you can do all of those things. Point of interest as well. There's a lot of really great ways to fly this. 8K hyperlapse. Hyperlapse is a really unique way to, to capture different kinds of footage. Now, I recommend that when you're flying in one of those modes, you leave the A-Pass system on. Now, A-Pass 3.0 is what this guy has on it, and that is a way of using these obstacle avoidance cameras to kind of make sure that you're flying in a path that isn't going to endanger your drone or anybody around it, right? It allows the drone to kind of avoid some of those problems. Now this will even take 48 megapixel panoramic photos. That means you can take a picture of a really beautiful scene and then if you want to zoom in on it for some really crisp details. This also has DJI's AirSense. That means that it's equipped with ADS-B. That's a system that allows the drone to kind of communicate with airplanes and helicopters so that people know where things are in the airspace and it can be safer. Now, I do believe that that is only shipping in the US, at least to start. So double check that if you're not in the United States. This isn't a full review. Like I said, we've only had this for a about a week, but I can tell you already that it's a fantastic drone. I love flying it. I love this camera. I love the size, right? It's small, but it's not too small. It doesn't feel like a toy, but it's not too big. Now, I'm not going to stick this thing in my pocket, but it's definitely a step above the Mavic Mini, and I really don't think it's too far off from the Mavic 2 series of drones. DJI definitely looked at the camera and made some significant improvements. And that's why we can get some 4K60 on this camera. Now I'm going to keep flying this thing. So we're also going to be doing some comparison flights with the Mavic 2 Air. So if you want to see how this stacks up against the original, we'll do that, right? If you want to see how this stacks up against the Mini and why you might want this or the Mini, we'll also look at that. We'll also compare it to the Mavic 2 series of drones, both the Zoom and the Pro. So we'll look at the full gamut of the DJI drones, as well as some others like the Autel Evo and the Peridonafi. If you want to see a range test, we got one of those coming up as well. So, so click that subscribe button so you don't miss the content coming your way. Hey, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and check us out on halfchrome.com where you can learn more about this Mavic. We've got charts and articles and things. If you like to read, that's the place to do it. And if you like this video, if it helped you out in any way, the, the links in the description below are affiliate links. They help us create content so we can keep getting videos to you about your favorite drones. I hope this was helpful. Good luck and happy flying.